Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you guys here and welcome back to PCW's tournament for this month, PCW Rebirth. We are now on to round number two where we have James Ellsworth making his PCW debut. My man James Ellsworth is here. We also got Katsuyori Shibata showing off. We got a couple of things in this episode I think you guys will enjoy, so be sure to stay tuned. Of course, Big Bear back into the mix after winning his round one matchup. We got a couple of things I think you will enjoy. Remember, guys, if you want to join PCW for next month's tournament, all you have to do is check the link in the description below. Tell me down in the comments once you finish the video what your favorite match of the episode was. Of course, I always love reading through those. And, of course, leave a thumbs up. You know what it is. So let's go ahead and kick off this round two gimmick here with James Ellsworth versus Scott Hall. Look at this matchup right here. James Ellsworth making his PCW debut here in round number two of PCW Rebirth. Facing off against Scott Hall. James Ellsworth representing Sydney W. Scott Hall representing Jonathan I. Scott Hall fighting through round number one to get here. James Ellsworth trying to make a name for himself here in PCW. That's what I say. Scott Hall's trying to end this real quick. My man was about to hit him with that razor's edge, knock him out, move on to the next round. But James Ellsworth is going to have that a little bit scouted. You know James Ellsworth's seen a bunch of Scott Hall matches before. Probably grew up idolizing the big man. Scott Hall going in with some forearms here as James Ellsworth seems lost in the woods right now. My man is going to have to try to fight back and do something here. He's doing that. The heart of James Ellsworth cannot be denied. Face wash from Ellsworth as he goes in for a punch on Scott Hall, but Scott Hall is just bullying him into the corner. James now firing back, starting to get some momentum started. May not be big moves, but it's something. Strike contest between James Ellsworth and Scott Hall. The back and forth punch of Scott Hall drops him near the cage, but a DDT from James Ellsworth will put him down. Three minutes into round number one, the super kick doesn't even flush Scott Hall. My God, that lariat. And the choke slip. James Ellsworth is still fighting through. I thought that was going to be it. I thought that was all she wrote, but James Ellsworth is still standing. Ref James has not called for the matchup yet. We're closing in on four minutes into round number one. Three rounds, five minutes each. James Ellsworth with a low blow. Very smart decision. Oh, no. But Scott Hall with the razor's edge. And James Ellsworth and Sydney W are going home. Scott Hall and Jonathan I will pick up that victory. What in the world? The game just <laughs> The absolute heart of James Ellsworth. But at the end of the day, Scott Hall is on a rampage, man. The dude's doing really well this tournament so far. And Fala Ba is facing off against John Cena. Speaking of people who are doing well, Fala Ba out here doing it, people. Fala Ba representing the Skizzard. John Cena representing Vincent E. As Fala Ba is looking to make up for the first tournament he was in, PCW Destino, where he got knocked out cold. My man is looking to move on and do it down big, but John Cena is quite the force to be reckoned with. Sidewalk slam here from Fala Ba. Ba, Ba, Ba. Headlock here from John Cena as he throws the punch down on the Fala Ba's head. Gut wrench suplex from John Cena. Able to pick up the big man with ease with the big lariat from Falaba. will take my man down real quick like. Another headlock punch there from John Cena as he picks up Falaba. Picking him up with that suplex. Putting him down flush. Falaba in a bad spot. You let John Cena get an inch. She takes a mile. That headlock one more time going for that punch. Wearing him down. Getting ready for that attitude adjustment. But a big clubbing blow to the back will stop things in their tracks. A big slap and Fala Ba is starting to string together a couple of moves here. Not anything big, but he's getting stuff done. Big clubbing hit. A big lariat knocks out John Cena, flips him over. Another clubbing blow to the back. Saying a bunch of B words back to back is really difficult. Fala Ba and John Cena with a strike contest. Cena gets him. But Fala Ba back to his feet. Wait a minute. Fisherman Buster from John Cena, but Fala Ba is not out yet. One minute remaining in round number one. Four minutes in, we got one minute left to the bell rings, and we both both of these men get a second to take a breath. Oh, wait a minute. John Cena said Falaba smells like shit. Falaba with the snap suplex. Is he going to be able to follow up? 30 seconds left. Another snap suplex from Falaba. He needs a second to take a breather here. 10 seconds remaining in the round. Is Falaba going to lose? Action adjustment. Oh, but he survives. And now round number two begins. Falaba just... Barely making it by there. Forearm to the back of the head. John Cena is going for the kill shot. 
He's going for the kill shot. Did you see that power bomb from John Cena? And John Cena and Vincent E are moving on to the next round. Fallout by going down. Look at this man laid out like a little rich. Now here is a damn dream match. Shibata versus Shawn Michaels. Old man Shawn with the camo here in PCW representing Connor D. Katsuyori Shibata representing Dean L. Shibata is here to take this man Shawn out like yesterday's trash. Yeah. We'll see if he can get it done here. Shibata throwing out in the forums. If there was a tournament made for Shibata, this was it. Making his PCW debut. Will Shawn Michaels be able to stop the hype train? Or will Shibata take him down? Camo clutch here from Shibata, center of the ring, trying to get that give up. There are multiple ways for Shibata to end this match. Sean has got to be on his toes. On his toes. Big shot there, Shibata. Dropping the elbow on the back of the neck of Shawn Michaels. Big STO sends Sean to the floor. Shibata is just putting the moves down. Power driver, though. Shawn Michaels firing back here. Big backbreaker there from Sean, but Shibata's back to his feet. Body slammed to get some momentum on the side of Shibata here. That hammer lock there on the, the, the wrist lock. Interesting move. STF there from Shibata. Sean not going to give up. Three minutes, 20 seconds in. Atomic drop from Sean now. He's trying to get as much damage as possible in round number one. I think they're both might be expecting a round number two. They're both very talented professional wrestlers. Shibata, big forearm shiver to the back of the neck. Sean with a <laughs> kick to the nuts. Oh my, Sean is just going for the, this man's crazy. This man, Sean, is just going for the testiculars. And now we have ourselves a strike contest. Back and forth, Sean's going to get the upper hands. 20 seconds left. Backbreaker from Sean now as he's looking. Is he going to be able to end it? No. The punches, and there's the bell. Shibata was down, but not out. Now round number two begins. Both men taking a second here. Wait a minute. Go to sleep from Shibata, but Sean still alive. Forearm shiver to the back of the head. A big lariat. Shibata is starting to go crazy. Driving Sean into the mat, but Sean is just not going down. Punches to the midsection there from Shibata. Forearm shiver to the back of the neck. Sean has got to fire back with something, and that he does. Power driver. Shibata's out. Sean Michaels and Connor D are moving on to the next round in PCW Rebirth. Shibata fired everything he had, and Sean just took it straight to the face. Young Ricky facing off against The Undertaker here in PCW. Undertaker, I thought he was a thumb against the cage there, but he came in with that short. Look at the. This is crazy. This man's punches are crazy. Rick Flip. The, the, I, Undertaker's wild. He was made for this. He was made for it, man. Ric Flair representing Zadok V. Undertaker representing TH Takeover. Ric Flair, I mean, he's got that figure four, and he can make him give up. Give up and KO. Those are the two ways to win here in the cage. A punch to the back of the neck from Undertaker. Ric Flair now center of the ring. Oh, I thought he was going for that figure four. He's going to have to work on the legs a little bit, though, and I don't know if he's going to have the time. That's the only thing that's going to stop Rick here is the time. Punch there. Punch there, back and forth, Undertaker, Tombstone, center of the ring. Ric Flair ate it straight to the face. He don't care about no Tombstone. He don't care about that. It don't mean nothing to Rick. Yeah. Center of the ring now, Rick fires away, Undertaker. He said, oh, you don't care, huh? Another one for you, buddy. And Ric Flair is out. Undertaker, two minutes and 31 seconds, taking the victory. Honestly, I don't, you know what? There's a couple of people in this tournament when they face off, it's going to be wild. I'm just saying, I'm just going to keep it at that. We have that young boy Neville facing off against Luke Harper. Harper in his PCW debut tournament, of course. Making it past round number one to make it to this point. Neville, a veteran in PCW, always seems to make it late into the tournament. Neville representing Mary W. Harper representing Craig R. Neville has no ropes, though which you've seen in a lot of his previous matches here in PCW. He loves to go on those ropes. Harper is just a bruiser. So Neville definitely has to figure out a game plan here to go off against Luke Harper. Center of the ring, Enziguri. I mean, Neville's got the strikes and the kicks, but Harper's just got a brute strength. Neville surfboarding 
Luke Harper there, but Harper just spinning them around real quick like. And a discus lariat from Luke Harper will take down Neville, but Neville is not going to be out just yet. Two minutes in, is Harper going to give up? No give up just yet. You saw in the last match, two minutes, 31 seconds, Undertaker made quick work of Ric Flair, but that is not happening here. Neville does know that he is not going to outstrength Luke Harper. He's going to have to go for that give up. Shoot headbutt there from Luke Harper will take down Neville, but center of the ring, we have a strike on this. Back and forth, my man throwing down the punches. Luke Harper going to overpower Neville. Big Frankensteiner there drops Luke Harper. That single leg drop kick will take him down, but both men are now up center of the ring. Body slam from Neville. This man might just climb the cage, to be honest with you. Another single leg drop kick there from Neville as we close in on the final minute of this match. Well, this round of this match. We still got two more rounds left. Luke Harper throwing the fist up. He wants to end this match right here before round number one's over. Neville flipping him over. Body slam from Luke Harper now as he follows up with a kick. Wait a minute. Another spin of Rudy. <laughs> Picks up Neville. Uh-oh, Neville wants that power bomb. Oh, Luke Harper had that scouted. Center of the ring, gonna take a break. Wait, did Neville just get knocked out cold from the back body drop? That one really came as a surprise to me. But now we have Rick O'Shea facing off against the Mizukage The Miz. Ricochet representing Mass Effects, The Miz representing the best AME. The Miz surprising most people and moving on to the next round. I don't think a lot of people expected him to win in round number one, but yet here he is. Ricochet also having an impressive performance. We'll see which one of these men can take this victory and move on here. The Miz with that neckbreaker center of the ring. He is putting in some moves here early. Ricochet not down just yet, though. A punch to the abdomen from the Miz. Big spitting lariat. Dropping the chops. Ooh, I'm telling you, Miz has got this one scouted. This man has got this one scouted. DDT down goes Ricochet. Ricochet taking a lot of damage here. We haven't even made it to two minutes in round number one. I don't know if it's going to be a two minutes, 31 second knockout like The Undertaker versus Ric Flair, but from the looks of it, Miz is putting in that work. He might be taking him out early. Picking up Ricochet now. Going from behind, but not going to be the case. Ricochet up. Oh, wait, The Miz is going to be able to float over, but an insecurity from Ricochet will drop him. Oh, a high kick from Ricochet now is... The Miz is starting to see stars. I think Ricochet might have been looking for the ropes or something, but we are in the cage, brother. Back and forth, uppercuts and punches from both men. The Miz and Ricochet going at it. They're still going at it. Ricochet and The Miz. Both men giving it. They're all here in this matchup. From behind goes The Miz. Big Larry to the back of the head. I thought we might have seen, been seeing a skull-crushing finale, but he decided to go with the Larry instead. One minute remaining here in round number one. A DDT will put down Ricochet and The Miz has done it again. The Miz and the best AME are moving on to the next round. The Miz is just surprising everyone. This man is a cage match machine. Gore, gore, gore. This man, Rhino, representing Tom C, facing off against Seth Rollins, who made a big victory in round number one, representing James G. I swear has something to do with that vest. I'm telling you, that's 200 IQ play from Seth Rollins. This man really put the vest on. Hey, he did the damn thing. We'll see if he can beat the big man right now, the man beast, the Animorph. The gore comes out of nowhere, and I'm telling you, it's unrelenting. Belly to belly there from Rhino sends Seth to the center of the ring. You can tell, you can tell in the eyes of Rhino he wants that gore. You know he wants it. He is set up for it at any time. Rollins, center of the ring, puts him down. So he tries to follow up with some moves here. Wait a minute, going for that power bomb, maybe. No buckle to throw him into, but a power bomb nonetheless will do just fine. Throwing Seth Rollins to the ground now. Rhino picking up Rollins with a suplex. His feet are outside the cage there. Oh, wait a minute. Rollins picking him up. Big power bomb flushes Rhino. Is Rollins going to be able to follow up after that power bomb? No, Rhino's going to be the one to get the upper hand. DDT from Rollins now. Two minutes 42 in. Picking up Rhino. Another DDT will put him down on the ground. Wait a minute, Rollins maybe going for a driver, not going to happen. Rhino, forearm to the back of the neck. Up goes Rollins, Death Valley, driver, down goes Rollins. Rhino's moves are just back to back to back to back. Rollins has got to change up something here. Picking up Rhino, Big Larry, it will drop him. Boston Crab locked in. One minute remaining in round number one. Rhino is not going to give up, but he is going to pick 
Seth Rollins up. Alabama slam will drop him down. Big spine buster. Elbow to the back of the head of Rhino now as he goes for something, but Rhino's able to rush him a little ahead. Wait a minute. Is Rollins out? I think his head might have hit up against the cage. And Rhino and Tom C pick up the victory and move on. What a bad turn of events. And now for the last match of this video, we have the debuting Mick Foley. And I'll be honest, Mick, I'm sorry. You have your debut match in PCW against Big Bear. Mick Foley representing Chris D. Big Bear representing Eric. We will see who can come out on top. But I'm telling you, Mick, you got your work cut out. This man, Big Bear, is a big bear standing on two feet. I know you've seen this man's matches. Maybe that will give you an upper edge. I don't know. There's no glass in here. There's no tables. There's no... I mean, technically, you probably got a sock on. You could maybe use that. But I don't know, Mick. It's going to be an uphill battle for you, man. Big Bear going in. Uh-oh. That Big Bear power bomb into the Big Bear splash. Mick Foley picking him up. But Big Bear... <laughs> Two minutes, 20 seconds in. Big Bear with a big punch to the back of the head. Mick Foley said, I ain't going down that easy. Body slam from Big Bear, the full mount now. Is Ref James going to call this match? No, he is not. Mick Foley is able to get back up, still answer the call. Punch to the head of Big Bear as Mick Foley stands him back up. There you go, dropping elbow into the back of Big Bear. A knee there from Big Bear as Mick Foley is down and out from the punch. The Big Bear splash, but Mick Foley's back to his feet. Will he be able to make it a round two against Big Bear? Will that happen? Will Mick Foley be able to do it? A big punch in the back of the head. A Big Bear splash. Mick Foley back to his feet. Center of the ring now. Dropping a forearm. An elbow. A big forearm to the back of the neck. Mick Foley trying to get Big Bear up, but a suplex will send Mick down. 30 seconds left in round number one. Oh, the big punch just sent Mick Foley back about 10 feet. Snap suplex on the Big Bear. Five seconds remaining in round number one. And we are now in round number two. Both men able to get a breather here as we go straight at it. Big Bear wanted that spear. You could see it. My man was aching for it. Mick Foley trying to get Big Bear up. But Big Bear dropping him with a suplex now. The longer this goes, Big Bear is gaining that momentum. The stroke from Mick Foley. Old school move, but Big Bear with the punch just sends him back. Big Bear splash, not enough. Mick Foley picks up the bear. Big clubbing blow. Will Mick be able to do this? Swinging neck breaker. The bear is down, people. Ow! Oh, the mandible claw! But Big Bear does not give up. Mick Foley brought out the mandible claw, but it wasn't enough. He picks up Big Bear. Oh, the DDT! It's still not enough. Mick Foley is... You gotta be wondering what's happening. How do you beat the bear? Mick Foley's throwing it all at him. The Big Bear's just taking it to the neck. Two minutes, 30 seconds in. Big Bear back to his feet. Side rush it last way. Mick Foley did it! Mick Foley and Chris D. They did it! They beat Big Bear! Debuting Mick Foley! What a huge victory for him! And that has just set him apart from everyone else in this tournament. Mick Foley becoming only one of two people to beat Big Bear, people. That is a huge moment. Debuting Mick Foley did the damn thing. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. On the next one, we will be going into round two, part two, and finishing off round number two to see who goes on to round number three. We saw eight people move on in this one. We will see eight move on in the next one. Remember to leave that thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are not subscribed for more of that goody goody, and I will see you guys in the next video. Also, remember, if you want to, tell me down in the comment what your favorite match of the episode was. See you.